Hello, 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 hello. Today's question is, do you know your assignment? Do you know your assignment? Do you, do you, do you, do you, do you, do you, do you know? Do you know your assignment? Now, your assignment consists of your gifts and your talents with one common purpose. God gives us gifts, talents, and he gives us platforms to operate those gifts. And my gift and your gift is not the same. There is diversity there because God allows us to be uniquely designed for his his purpose. We are designed to go out and to allow our gifts to make room. He says a gift will make room for you. And it puts you in places before great men. And as you're placed in these places, these are platforms that God has ordained. And as you operate in these platforms, on these platforms, with the gifts and talents that God has given you, you are to draw others to him. You are to build the kingdom of God and draw others to him. Now, the enemy would try to come at you and make you feel like you have no purpose. You have no talents. You have no gifts. You have no platforms. And it's all be so that you would not draw others to him. The enemy will also make you feel like it's you. It's your gifts. It's your talents. It's you. That has allowed you to be such a wonderful um, musician or a great singer or dancer. And it's not about you. It's about God, uh, God using you for that one common purpose to draw others to him, to break the yokes as God places an anointing on your life an anointing on your gifts, your talents. And even as you are operating in your gifts and your talents, the mere platform that you stand on saturates from that anointing that God has placed on you and the Holy Spirit that moves freely in that place. So it's not about you. It's not about a light that shines on you. It's about the light that shines through you. Do you, do you, do you, do you know your assignment? Do you know that your assignment will consist of you sometimes laying in the bed thinking, man, what am I supposed to be doing with these gifts and these talents that God has given me? The enemy will try to make you bury it. And you can't do that. You got to keep operating. You got to keep moving. You got to be unmovable, steadfast, always abounding in the works of God. You have to block out the naysays. Block out the negative energy and pick up your heels and walk and dust off your feet when they don't want to accept you because there are gifts and there are talents that God is giving you and there's a platform for you to operate from for one common purpose to draw others unto him. Do you know your assignment? Now, your assignment is not the same as my assignment. So you can't be looking over here. And I can't be looking over there because our assignments are different. You can't be trying to compare your gift to my gift and I can't compare my gift to your gift because there's diversity in our gifts. But it's one common purpose. So our tests are different. We're going to take a test that's going to be totally different. Therefore, the responses, the answers are going to be totally different. Our testimonies are going to be totally different because we are going to be overcomers because of our testimonies. The blood of the lamb. So see, your test is not the same as my test. But we have one common purpose. We are many, but one body in Christ. So do you know your assignment? Because once you know your assignment, you keep moving. Once you know your assignment, you don't let anybody tell you what you're supposed to be doing because you already have heard the voice of God. You have got the assignment. Once you know your assignment, you don't let someone pull you back into a pitiful situation. That God has brought you out. God has given you a way of escape. 
You don't return to the vomit. Once you know your assignment, you block out the haters. You allow God to use your enemy as a footstool. You allow God to set a table before you in the presence of your adversaries. But God would not allow them to triumph over you. Once you know your assignment, you don't hold back. Once you know your assignment, you know that God can't use you if you hold back. Once you know your assignment, you know that God cannot use you if you walk in a spirit of fear. You got that faith walk. You got that faith. You got that faith walk. And you walk in faith. You walk by sight. You're not walking by sight. You're walking by faith. So if you're carrying an assignment and you're walking by sight only, by what you see, by what you hear, you got to see what God is showing you. You got to hear the voice of God. You can't be drawn by strangers. You got to be drawn by the voice of God. You cannot walk by sight, but by faith. You got to build that faith walk. So today, do you, do you, do you, do you, do you know your assignment? Because once you know your assignment, you know that there is diversity in your gifts and your talents. And you also know that the very platform that you stand on, you must operate those gifts and talents and draw others to Christ. Once you know your assignment, you know that the light You don't need the spotlight to flicker on you. You need the spotlight to shine through you as others are drawn to God. Once you know your assignment, you don't worry about the jealousy of the hatred of others. You don't fear the faces of the congregation. You walk through the crowd. You get to that place where you touch his hip. You get to that place where you sit at his feet. You get to a place, a space of secretness as you dwell in that secret place. Once you know your assignment, you know there may be times when you stumble and you fall. But you know that he's there to catch you. He's there to pick you up. Dust you off and put you back on that narrow path. Once you know your assignment, you know that you're going to have people that are not going to go with you. And you're going to have to dust off your feet and pray for them. Once you know your assignment, you're willing, ready, available to do the will of God, which is to operate in that gift and talent. Those gifts and talents. To multiply those gifts and talents. Not to hide those gifts and talents. To block out the haters. To step on their pla- those platforms. And to draw others to Christ. So today. Do you know. Your assignments. Thanks for listening to the Barbara Cox podcast. God bless.